Well, hello and a very warm welcome to you from the indoor sports hall of Naval Base Secondary School here in Ishun. We're all set for the semi-final in the table tennis North Zone B Division girls competition as CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School come face to face with their opponents Anderson Secondary School here at table one. And CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School's campaign kicked off on the 31st of March. They started off their group stage with the match against CHIJ St. Joseph's Convent. And they actually took care of them quite easily by winning that match five games to love. In fact, they steamrolled their Group P opposition. They beat the other two schools involved in that group. Naval Base Secondary were hosting the table tennis competition and Nan Chiao Secondary by the same scoreline of five games to love. St. Nicholas ended the group stage on the 14th of April. So they come into this with the form with the results going their way and also perhaps a little bit of preparation time as well. That lead in time, knowing what to expect, working on a few things that might have gone wrong for them in the group stages perhaps and coming into this one, ironing out those issues and hopefully we'll see a good strong performance from them. As I mentioned, coming into this perhaps as the favourites to progress into the final of the competition based on that form. And the fact that they'll be coming up against an Anderson Secondary School team who finished runner-up in their group. Uh, they too started their campaign on the 31st of March against Peihua Secondary. They won that match easily by five games to nil. They also went on to beat Evergreen Secondary School by the same scoreline. Uh, with those two wins, enough to see them book their place in today's semi-finals. Even though they did suffer a 5 nil defeat at the hands of Ishun Town Secondary School, who, by the way, are playing their semi-final against Nanchao High School and that's going on now as well which is available for you if you'd like to tune into that one it should be available on the platform here and uh, that's one that one's already started Ishun Town I think playing the first singles and uh, as things stand leading 3-2 in the first game of that first singles match but anyway, our focus is here on this one between CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School and Anderson Secondary School. So, CHIJ, as I said earlier, coming into this as favourites, but we've seen earlier on in the boys' North Zone B Division semi final, Maristella were favourites against Ishun Town. Eventually, Maristella came away with the win, so they made their way into the final. They'll be playing against Catholic High in the boys' B Division North Zone final. But it was a close run affair, especially in the first singles. Yishun Town, Liu Jiawei picking up the first two games in that match before Roman Donovan of Maristella came storming back to win the next three. And he took the first singles and the first doubles as well was a very tight affair between the pairs of Maristella and Yishun Town. Maristella coming away with the win in that first double. And then the second singles, Dale Teyu against Samuel Tam of Ishun Town, Dale Teyu representing Maristella. That one was a little bit more comfortable. Winning the second singles by three games to nil. So Maristella eventually making it through to the final. As we thought they might, but they were pushed to the limit in a couple of those matches. We'll hopefully be expecting the same from Anderson Secondary here. They know they're up against it, against a very strong CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School team. But perhaps coming into this with a situation like that, you know your pressure is not quite on your shoulders. The pressure is on the bigger side to go and perform. The expectation is that St. Nicholas Secondary School will go on and win this one and go into the final. So perhaps a little bit of that pressure taken off the sh uh, shoulders of some of these students, student athletes from Anderson Secondary School. Just running through the warm-ups here. Your first singles, we'll see Ray Ting from St. Nicholas Secondary School in blue. She'll be up against Lauren Lin from Anderson Secondary School. She'll be playing in that orange top. Just going through their pre-match warm-ups here. Vital to get off to a good start. We also had coverage of the West Zone of the table tennis competition on Monday. We saw Hua Chong Institution, the boys B division, quite comfortably take care of Nanhua High School in that match by three 
matches to nil. And then in the table tennis girls' west zone semi-finals, we had Nanyang girls, who have a pretty good pedigree in this competition. They and a Raffles Girls School played against each other in the final at national level in 2019. Nanyang girls losing to Raffles Girls School on that occasion, although in 2018 it was Nanyang girls that swept up the B and C division titles at national level. We're looking to make another run into the latter stages of the competition as well. It's a chance for one of these two sides here to try and make their way into the finals, try and make an impact at national levels as well, which is what I'm sure they'll be looking to do. We should be just moments away from the start of this match. Once the players are happy with their warm-ups, once they've had the allotted time given to them, See the umpire here calling for things to get going. And it will be Lauren Lin who gets things underway for Anderson Secondary School. Kind of returned there by Ray Ting. Point on the board. Service with her. Once again, scoring another point. And it's unable to return that save. Lauren Lin. Must spin on that to cause a few issues. Oh, that was set up nicely for Ray Ting to just smash that forehand home. Set up nice and high on her side of the table. Got the elevation required to smash it again. It's an opportunity to hit another one. It just goes wide for Lauren. Good, strong backhand drive there. Lauren at the moment is unable to deal with the pace of this first game. Forced to be a little bit defensive in a play. That's how aggressive rating is. With a shot selection. Lauren just looking for those blocks, looking for those pushes. Just trying to survive and stay in this. Opened up the face of her. Had a little bit too much on that occasion. Uh, rating. Looking like she'll see this one out quite comfortably. Game point. There we go. Straight forward. First game win. 11-1 to Ray Ting from St. Nicholas Secondary School. of sides and it's St. Nicholas with the serve. Pitching a double down bounce there. Misjudging the flight of the ball on that occasion. And looking to set the tone very early on here. St. Nicholas secondary school very aggressive play and a very aggressive forehand drive once again. Oh. 
get the feeling she needs to adjust this, uh, her receiving posture a little bit. They're representing Anderson in the orange. That's one of ratings more straightforward matches she'll be facing in this uh, latter stages of the competition. She's been quite comfortable so far. And she just overhit that forehand, getting some advice from her teammates. Just to calm down a little bit. Take her time, be patient. Simple enough forehand for her to finish off and deal with. She opens up a lead to five now. Seven two. Yeah. Now point for Anderson secondary is Lauren Linda. Quick couple of points. That streak stopped by rating 9-3. Two away from sealing up the second game of this first singles. It's very impressive with a with a play rating, and and that's the way table tennis is these days. You see the aggressive attacking players tending to dominate matches. Force the opposition into mistakes. They're going to take the game to the opposition as Lawrence stays alive in this game. 5 10, game point. And she's done it. Wins the second game quite comfortably as well. 11 5, rating, making light work of her opponent from Anderson Secondary School. You just start to see the difference in the quality and the level perhaps in these situations Lauren trying her best see if she can rescue anything from this match but rating really looking like the dominant one so far making good attacking play good quality with her, her strokes and her and her shot selection as well alright ready to go Third game in this first singles match between Ray Ting and Lauren Lin. Anderson secondary, get things underway. The pace of the game is a little bit too much for Anderson to deal with at the moment. A couple of quick fire points. From St. Nicholas. Bit of an error there. Granting a point to Anderson. That's a powerful backhand. Just driven straight down the court. And just the pace of it. Making it so difficult for Lauren from Anderson Secondary School to deal with. That's another powerful forehand drive. And let's just make contact with the edge of the table towards the back there, really. Pace that she hit a forehand with, blowing past Lauren Lin, creating complete control of this one. Just putting enough spin on that serve as well. In trouble, Lauren. Another ace. Another ace. Racking up the points in quick succession here. We've already got the first doubles pairings out warming up, getting ready for their match, which should be coming up very soon indeed. Oh. 
match. Another straightforward forehand drive straight down the middle of the table. Another opportunity to smash that one home. 10-1. Match point here for St. Nicholas Secondary School. And there you have it. That's the first singles going to them. Nice and easy, straightforward for St. Nicholas Secondary School. 11 1, 11 5, 11 1. Rating picking up a big win. Nice, comfortable win for St. Nicholas Secondary School. And we said they'd be the favourites coming into this. At on the evidence of that first singles, it certainly looked like it's going to be a comfortable crushing victory for them. No real resistance faced by rating there. Job done. What was it? Maybe 10, 15 minutes. That first singles. Three straight games taking that match. Giving her school a one to nothing lead here. As is the protocol, just making sure they clean up the tables and there's no foreign object in there affecting the flight of the ball. Ahead of the first doubles, you have Wong Wen Jing and Chloe Lim representing St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School. And for Anderson Secondary School, Delicia Justine and Amanda Tan. They'll be coming up in just a few moments' time. Doubles pairings will take their place on the table. Start their warm-ups. Get their pre-match checks going, and then they'll be ready to go. Just a reminder there, you look at the website that you've got at the bottom of your screen. Have a look at that and you can keep up to date with uh, everything that's going on in the national schools games all across the board. Incredible coverage being provided as well. Lots of sports being covered. You've got volleyball, sepak takraw going on. Table tennis right here. You've got tennis as well. Many others at the uh, zonal and national division. Great, isn't it, for these uh, student athletes to have competition back? You know, it's not just a situation where they're just training and training without a chance to test themselves in sight. You want to be here competing. This is what you're training for. This is why you're representing your school. And it's great that uh, they're slowly starting to bring back the school games. 
dealing with the events that we have at the moment. Of course, within the COVID protocols that we've got in the country right now. But it's a start. It's an encouraging start. It's great to see these student athletes out and about competing against each other. That's off to the organizers as well. And the crews around the nation providing coverage of the National Schools Games, doing a wonderful job of it all. We're fortunate these days, you know, I remember back when I was playing for my school, we didn't have the sort of coverage that we do these days. So these student athletes, very, very lucky. And we're fortunate as well that we get to see all the action coming across to you free, live, online. You get to keep up to date with what's going on in the school game scene. So we're close now to the first double tier between CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School. Wong Wenjing and Chloe Lim representing St. Nicholas. And you've got Delisha, Justine and Amanda Tan playing in the orange representing Anderson Secondary School. And after the first singles match was taken by rating for CHIJ quite comfortably. 11-1, 11-5, 11-1. It's put CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School into a one nothing lead here. A big moment for either of these sides with this first double to St. Nicholas Secondary School power their way to a 2-0 lead. It will be very difficult for Anderson then. Not impossible, difficult, challenging. And pull themselves back in this match. Can happen. They'll be looking to try and avoid that. They'll be looking to try and get themselves back on level terms by winning this one. Delisha, Justin and Amanda Tan. Moments away now from start of this first doubles. Just being given that a lot of time to run through their warm up. It's very good aggressive play by Ray Ting in that first singles to really take the game to. Lauren Lin who couldn't deal with the pace of the play. Good aggressive forehands and shots from Ray Ting as well. Nice technique and shot selection. Just run away with that first singles match. What's available to you as well? We've also got the other semi final of the girls' north zone B division going on on the other table between Yishun Town Secondary School and Nanchiao High School. Well, focused on back here. Let's see Chai Jay St. Nicholas. Second school. Let's call the first point. Anderson back on level terms. Just needed to approach the net for that shot. Wen Jing she made no mistake with that forehand. And giving them opportunities again. Anderson slotting it back on towards St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas's side of the table here. of easy forehand winners for St. Nicholas so far. Anderson wanting to try and just limit that if they can. Done very well here. Get themselves back on level terms again. Set to try and play a defensive shot. Anderson power that to really do much with. And 
Vincent Pair of Delicia Justine and Amanda Tan. Bit of a waste of the serve there. Rally. A couple of quick backhand drives causing a few issues for that pairing from Anderson Secondary School. That was far too much on that. points in succession that they've lost here. CHIJ, St. Nicholas Secondary School. It's allowed Anderson Secondary way back into this game. It's allowed them to take the lead as well here. And that's another one. Alicia Justine and Amanda Tan didn't start off looking very confident, very comfortable, but they're in the lead here. A couple away from taking the game. Game point, in fact. Well done to that pair. Well, they've rescued that game point. There's Chloe Lim with that backhand off the edge of the table. And well, that's it. Anderson, secondary. I've taken the first game here, 11 to 8. Great effort by Delicia Justine and Amanda Tan from Anderson Secondary School and it's an important first doubles for them as well after they've lost the first singles. Going to try and get their school back on level terms here against St. Nicholas Secondary School. They didn't start off that game too confidently but they grew into it and a succession of mistakes from pairing of Chloe Lim and Wong Wenjing combined with Delisha and Amanda from Anderson taking the initiative, picking up that game Getting back on level terms and then blowing past Wen Jing and Chloe to win that first one, 11-8. If you're Anderson, if you're the pairing of Delisha and Amanda, you should be feeling confident going into this. Job's not done. Got a long way to go. At least you've got that first game under your belt. St. Nicholas Secondary School get things going with the serve. And the first point of this second game of the first doubles. You just see the face of the paddle just facing down a little bit as you connect it with the ball. You get the elevation required to lift it over the net. Again off to play further off the baseline. Not quite connecting as well as she would have liked with the shots. Wen Jing. Well, a bit of an apology, but uh, they'll take the point that they call a timeout. Panic stations a little bit at the moment, perhaps. Sensing that the second game could be running away from them. 4-2 right now. Anderson doing very well. Just as he did in the first game. Continued on with that. Generally keeping the technique and the shot selection right. A couple of unforced errors, I would say, coming from the pairing from St. Nicholas Secondary School in this first double. coach just out of your picture just want to address a couple of things in this timeout to make sure they can turn it around let's see earlier in this very same venue first singles 
between Maristella and Ishun Town. That was in the boys' B Division semi final. Roman Donovan from Maristella against Lo Chia Wei of Ishun Town. And it was actually Ishun Town's Lo Chia Wei taking a two game to nothing lead in that one before the favorite Roman Donovan came storming back to win it three games to two. And that really set the tone for Maristella to go on and win that match. We're seeing a good response here from St. Nicholas Secondary. Starting to rack up the points now after that timeout. Just seemed to have shifted the momentum their way. Just for that moment anyway. Close contest that we've got between these two pairs. In the top of the net. Outside the bounds of the table, and it's another point. But that was really a shot that was set up nicely for Wen Jing to power home with that forehand drive. Plenty of power and pace behind that shot. It's now Anderson's secondary turn to call a timeout. We saw a shift of momentum there. They were leading before the first timeout. Leading by 4-2. to two. And then a timeout was called by St. Nicholas Secondary School. Momentum swung their way. And now they go into a timeout in the lead. It's interesting as well. In the earlier match, we saw the timeouts at being called at times where it perhaps affected the momentum of a couple of players so you've got to make sure that in these situations you're not over instructing these players you're not trying to spoil their rhythm because it can have an impact Let's see what sort of impact it has as they return from that timeout Secondary school, two points away from winning this second game. Rally between the pairs there. Wen Jing was looking to finish it off with that forehand. Didn't get the connection right. The backhand and Anderson now to bounce back to get themselves in a position where they're now point away from winning the game. Rescued that point though. St. Nicholas Secondary School, they've done well. 10 all, deuce. One point away now. St. Nick's. Well, that's it. 12 10. That pairing of Wong Wen Jing and Chloe Lim. Leveling things up here, one game all. Tadisha Justin and Amanda Tan taking the first game 11 8. And they needed a response. That's St. Nicholas Secondary School. Wen Jing and Chloe Lim held their nerve in the end to take the equalizing game 12 10. One all now. Headed into the third game of the first doubles. been a much more competitive contest than the first singles that we saw earlier. 
Anderson Secondary School not giving up without a fight. Still very much in this semi-final match. That backhand drive going straight into the net. One, two to Anderson. Very quickly becomes two all. Oh, that's a wonderfully returned backhand by Chloe Lim. Getting the loop on that elevation. Backhands have been very strong, Chloe Lim. The way that ball moved very quickly back into Wen Jing, she wasn't quite able to return that. At the pace that he was coming to her. And that's an excellent forehand drive finish. Very confident with that forehand, plenty of pace and power on that shot. 5-3, St. Nicholas Secondary School now. Very quickly becomes 4-5 as that forehand goes crashing into the net. Really defensive shots there. And, uh, State by repairing from Anderson Secondary School. So quite a bit of backspin on that initial backhand there. And driven straight into the net. of shots going straight into the net there from the pairing of St. Nicholas. Completely mistiming contact with the ball on that occasion. A good series of rallies between the two. Really entertaining contest here in this first doubles. Oh, they've done very well. It's done very well, Wenjing, to react to the ball making contact with the top of the net. Looking at a bit of a deflection, and he had, she had to move quickly to keep that alive. So the flight of the ball adjusted. Fascinating rally that just goes the way of St. Nicholas Secondary School. It's over hitting that backhand. A series of backhand pushes there. Painful point to concede. initially but uh, Anderson just unable to get that one across the net and it's St. Nicholas a point away from taking this third game and they finish it off set up nicely for that backhand smash so after losing that first game to Delisha Justine and Amanda Tan then Anderson pairing taking the first game 11 8 in this first doubles. Wong Wen Jing and Chloe Lim have rebounded back well to take the next two games.
12, then 11, 8. 2 1. As things stand now. Two games to one. Two games to St. Nicholas Secondary School, just the one for Anderson Secondary School. Secondary school to serve. They win this game. They'll take this first the doubles along with them. Point to them. This comes off the net and off the edge of the table. Spin on the serve and then set up nicely for that forehand strike finish by Chloe Lim. Let's open up the face of the racket a little bit too much there. Wang Wenjing. Anderson were able to stay in the rally and wait for that error. And on this occasion, it's they who put the ball into the net. Wunging into that forehand smash. A bit of backspin on the ball as it hit the back edge of the table. Four now. And very quickly becomes three four after that service. Close face of the paddle on that forehand, uh, taking it past the pairing of Anderson Secondary School up the two-point gap in this fourth game of the first doubles. Comes five all after a couple of mistakes there from the pairing of St. Nicholas Secondary School. That's a wonderfully executed forehand drive side of the table. Just waited for that right moment to attack it. She got the technique right, Chloe. And the invitation was there to hit it. of just basic backhand pushes there going the way of Anderson secondary school it's a loose backhand step off the table it's far too much on that forehand on this occasion 7-8 Very interesting indeed, Anderson Secondary. Okay. Got a two game to one lead here, the two points away, St. Nicholas Secondary School from taking the first double. Seen Anderson respond very well so far, but could this be a bridge too far? Match point for St. Nicholas Secondary School here. Anderson to serve. And the 
saved one match point. Saw them draw themselves back to level terms in the second game, eventually losing 12-10. Anderson can do it again. Oh, they've done it. They forced the deuce here. Not giving up without a fight. And it's a credit to them. They're pushing, they're pushing, and they're looking to try and win this one for themselves. They send it to a deciding fifth game. Now, not that way. Because it's a powerfully driven forehand straight down the middle. Set up for her to find a finish. Match point. Oh, that's well executed under pressure. Got the point that they need. St. Nicholas Secondary School. Fantastic effort by Anderson Secondary School. Pushed them all the way. Taking that first game, 11-8. Delisha, Justine and Amanda Tan. We saw a response from St. Nicholas Secondary School, Wong Wenjing and Chloe Lim taking the second game, 12-10, and then the third game, 11-8, before wrapping things up in the fourth again, another 12-10. So they were pushed, they were challenged by Anderson Secondary School, but it's ultimately CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School coming up, tops in that one. After winning the first singles and the first doubles, they take a two-love lead in this girls north zone b division semi-final nicely in control here ahead of the second singles that's coming up in just a few moments time And we're back ahead of what could be the deciding singles match that takes CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary Schools into the final of the Girls North Zone B Division table tennis competition. 
got off to a great start in the first singles rating, beating Lauren Lin of Anderson Secondary School in straight games, 11-1, 11-5, 11-1. And then it was the turn of the first doubles. Not as straightforward as the first singles for St. Nicholas. As Anderson Secondary School's pairing, Delisha Justine and Amanda Tan took the first game in that match, 11-8. to and Then Wong Wenjing and Chloe Lim mustered up a response to get themselves back on level terms. Picking up the second game, 12-10 but it was always very tight and competitive in that first doubles. Anderson Secondary School really pushed St. Nicholas Secondary School all the way in that game. Third game going the way of Wen Jing and Chloe Lim from St. Nicholas, 11-8. And then the deciding game being won 12-10. You can just see how close it's been in that doubles, but it's uh, CHIJ St. Nicholas Secondary School ultimately with this two love lead overall, winning the first two matches of this semi final. And it comes down to this second singles match between Chloe Ong of St. Nicholas Secondary School and Dai Yu Xi from Anderson Secondary School. Anderson have to win this to keep things alive, to keep their hopes alive. It's a big pressure game for Dai. For Chloe Young, it's an opportunity to be the one that takes her school into the finals. She can wrap things up nicely for St. Nicholas Secondary School. Young and Dai Yushi just going through their warm ups there. And we're all set to go, all ready to go in this second singles. Crucial one for Anderson Secondary. It's a must win singles match. CHIJ, St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School. Chance to finish off the match and take the place in the final. And they'll be coming up against either Yishun Town Secondary School or Nanchiao High School. We're playing in the other semi final, and that's also available for you to watch. But if you're here with us, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're enjoying what you're watching so far. play by Chloe Young already with the serve and then the forehand that was just hit past Tai Yushi of Anderson Secondary playing in that orange top it's a bit too much on that service there For the side spin on that serve, Go Yong. Picking up another point there. Seven five. Or five seven with Anderson set to serve. Spin on that serve, doing it once again for Chloe Young. Dai just gets too much on the return. And that caused a few issues there for Chloe Young. That good return from Dai close towards the edge of the table. 
Chloe just didn't have time to readjust. But she's one point away from winning this first game. And she's got it. 11-7. Taking the first game of this second singles here. St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School. As I mentioned at the start, coming into this as perhaps the favourites, having breezed through their group, winning all their matches 5 0. Anderson Secondary coming through their group in that runners up spot. Just finishing their group campaign actually on the 19th of April. Not all that long ago. Immediately having to be back in action here. So there was a bit more time for St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School finishing their group campaign on the 14th of April. They've had a bit of time to prepare themselves mentally, physically for the challenges that lie ahead. But they are showing here the same sort of quality that they displayed in the group stages, which has made them so difficult for the other schools in this competition to really deal with. They're going the way of Chloe Yong. Okay, that service working out really well for Chloe. Just changing it up a little bit. Good a choice of serve. Side spin on the backhand. A timeout's been called by Anderson Secondary School. And Coach Wu Yue Xiong is imparting a little bit of advice and knowledge. A few words there for Dai Yushi. Get a head back into the game and we'll keep things together in this one. All is definitely not lost. She's still very much in it. So 4 2 down, or 2 4 down. So, so. Immediately winning a point after that timeout. Point six succession and after that timeout. She set herself up very nicely for that forehand drive there. Now Flo Young has broken that streak and now she's got a couple of points for herself in quick succession. So it was a nice little rally there between the two and unfortunately for Chloe. It's an attempt to finish with that forehand going wide. Long there. Giving Chloe the opportunity to just open up a gap for herself here now. Six nine. She's two away from taking the second game. After taking the first game, 11 7. Six ten. Game point. 
about to finish it off with that forehand drive. Very aggressive, a bit too aggressive perhaps. And she's done it though. She's seen this one out again. 11 7. They're almost there now. St. Nicholas Secondary School, just one game away from a place in the final. Chloe Young currently leading by two games to Love in the second singles match. 11 7, 11 7. One more game to go for her. Opportunity still. Still hopes alive for Anderson Secondary School. They've really got to turn it around now. This is the crunch. And it's Anderson Secondary School who will be serving in what could be the third and final game of this match. Well, as a well return by Dai there after Chloe was looking to try and change the tempo with an aggressive forehand. Chloe gets herself back level here after a neat, powerful backhand down the line. It's another good backhand by Chloe Young. And a side spin on that serve again, causing a few issues for Dai to deal with. Set up for that backhand smash. Nicely just bounced up, nice and high. Enough elevation to the net for Chloe to power it home. Killer backhand once again, Chloe Young. Pretty good technique on those backhands. I think that forehand a little bit too long on this occasion. So got a bit of a lead though. Oh, that's a lovely forehand drive straight across the table. No chance for Chloe to return that one. Anderson Secondary School to within a point. Oh, the gap has very quickly opened up to two now. 6-4. Very quickly become 6-5. Usually very reliable on a service game. And there you go. That's why I said that. Picks up another point on her serve. The quality of her serves has been very difficult for Kai to deal with. That's, again, good aggressive attacking play by Chloe Young. Just to really set the tone Force die to play on the defensive. Two away now. Oh, again. Set that one up really nicely indeed for that forehand drive finish. Got the loop that she wanted. Match point. And that's it. She's done it. St. Nicholas girls, secondary school, on their way into the final. 11-5, Chloe Young takes that final game in the second singles match. Nice and comfortable in the end. Starting off from that first singles rating, blowing away Lauren Lynn from Anderson Secondary School. 11-1, 11-5, 11-1. And then in the first doubles, pairing off Wong Wen Jing and Chloe Lim coming up against the pairing from Anderson Secondary School, Delisha Justine and Amanda Tan. And things were interesting in that first doubles. Delisha Justine and Amanda Tan picking up the first game 11 8 there. But St. Nicholas Secondary School, Chloe and Wen Jing responding. Although it was tight 
in the remaining games. The second game went the way of St. Nicholas, 12-10, and then the third game, 11-8, and then the fourth game, 12-10 as well. Nice and tight in that first double. It's very competitive, and it came down to the crunch. A crucial second singles for Anderson. They needed to win it if they wanted to keep their hopes of a place in the final alive. They were represented by Dai Yu Shi. Well, St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School had Chloe Young in place, and she was very aggressive with the play, powered her way home to a win. 11-7, 11-7, 11-5. Good control and technique and shot selection on a play. So it's St. Nicholas, CHIJ, St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School.